Hi, thanks for joining me. My name is Megan Andrew and today I'm going to be working with the Skinny Love Kits from Scraptastic Club to create a layout about my daughter's first ponytail. So right now I am layering some pattern papers along the left side of my background paper which is from Basic Gray. And the, the two pattern papers that I have here are from Crate Papers Wonder collection and I'm just going to layer them and put the wood grain looking one kind of at an angle um, and I'm distressing the corners with the edge of my scissors just kind of roughing them up a bit. I also have this little tiny strip of an exclusive paper from Scraptastic that's like half circles that I'm putting along the right side and um, it was just kind of a happy accident. It just ended up being on my desk and I really liked the way that it looked when it was on that edge of the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that on. I just feel like it makes the right side of the paper look quite finished. Here's my photo and I've already placed it on um, a white cardstock base. So I'm just going to pop that on with some dimensional adhesive. I have an exclusive 3x4 card from the Skinny Love add-on here that I really like that pattern there and I want to bring uh, some other colors to the table, so some yellows and teals. And I'm also searching through my Crate Paper Wonder um, eph ephemera pack and I really like the look of this little cat card. So I want this 3x4 card to go both on the top and the bottom um, of that cat card. So what I'm doing is cutting it in half because once the the um, kitty cat card is on the top you won't even know that it's that it's been cut in half. And I just need to make sure here that it's um, that it's straight. So I really like the way that looks. And I'm just playing here with the exclusive wood veneer and another piece of um, ephemera from the Crate Paper Wonder collection. Just pulling out some more pieces that, that will fit with the layout. This is the printables, the Skinny Love printables. And I really like this little journaling tag there. So I'm going to pop that up there. For my title, I'm going to be using these cork thickers along with these mini alphas also in the kit. I'm looking on this um, thickers package here too to see if there's any words that work, but there aren't because I've decided to call this layout First Pony. So I'm just using the mini alphas to do the ST for first and the big cork thickers to spell out pony. And at the moment I'm playing around with separating my title around my photo, but I'm not I'm not really feeling the way that that's looking. I I feel like it's making the top of my layout too heavy. Like that the the word pony up there just feels really disjointed to me. So I'm pulling all my letters down underneath my photo. And I think this is going to make it just look a lot better having that extra weight on the bottom of my layout. So I pulled out a few pieces from the um, This Life Noted kit for September, and I really like the look of this cute little, um, it's almost leather, faux leather looking bow, and I really like that it is that kind of darker pink color because the whole left side of my layout has that darker pink color, so I'd like to bring some of that to the right side. And I've definitely decided to keep these pieces here. So my photo is definitely where I want it to be. The floral paper, the kitty cat card, and that big love die cut circle. So I'm just going to go ahead and affix those to the layout. I'm still trying to decide on the if I like this little, this little bare face. 
but I know I definitely want that bow somewhere so I'm just going to pop that there. I'm also going to cut out this pink star journaling tag from the Skinny Love printables this month. I always find that these printables just stretch my stash even more so they're really handy to have. Haven't decided on my placement of that yet. I always find that <laughs> for some reason journaling is something I usually come up with at the end and I feel like I can never fit it in. So I want to put my daughter's initial and E on the paper. So I'm just trying to look for a large E in a word that doesn't need the E because it's cut off on the page. So I don't want to use something like love there because I can definitely cut that love out. But I see this E in perfect and the entire word isn't on the paper. So I'm going to cut out that E. Plus I also like having that dark teal on my layout since that dark teal is one of the colors that's in that floral pattern that I've put behind my photo. So I'm just going to cut that out and put that on my page. I'm going to try to decide exactly where I want it to go. So this is a trick of mine. I, I cut up my dimensional adhesive to so that I have little tiny pieces that I can pop behind something nice and thin like this just to pop it off of the page. So I have kind of three half pieces here that I'm going to use to pop that E up. And I'm going to pop it on the right side of my layout there. I'm a bit frustrated as to where to put this journaling card, as you can see by my hand gestures here. So, um, I'm also deciding that I want to draw attention to the ponytail since that's what this whole layout is about. And I'm checking out these Heidi Swap gold arrows, but they're really, really long, so it doesn't look like that's going to work. I'm going to go ahead and commit to this piece of wood veneer, and I'm just going to cut off the word play. But I still do not like having that face there because it's right below the kitty cat. So I think that this is kind of perfect having the bow there with the wood veneer to the right of it, to the left, sorry. So I'm just going to affix that directly to my photo and leave the bow there. So I'm looking for more other arrows that I could use there instead of the big long arrow. And these little triangles or arrows, whatever you want to call them, just are just enough to draw attention to the ponytail. And I'm looking for more, and there are some here on this Crate Paper Wonder puffy sticker sheet. So I'm just going to use a large gold one and then two of the smaller colored ones here, making sure they're nice and straight and everything is affixed down on my layout now. I'm also going to go ahead now and commit to placing my title there so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that all those letters are pushed down onto the pattern paper and nice and straight. I'm pulling out the This Life Noted stamp set this month, and it's really great. There's all sorts of little words on here, and I've decided to use the word currently. And what you won't be able to see here because my um, my video just kind of ended on me is that I'm, I'm going to stamp it three times because I want it to go from dark to light as it gets closer to my title. So using a piece of scrap paper, I'm going to first ink up my stamp, stamp off twice, and then stamp currently right next to my title. Then ink up my stamp, stamp off only once, then stamp again just above my first stamp. Then I'm going to do it one more time without stamping off at all so that it's dark to light, as you can see there at the bottom left-hand corner of my layout. So right now I'm going to be placing a few more 
just pieces of smaller embellishment. This is the heart is the um, cork exclusive piece from the kit and a little yellow hello word bubble from crepe paper. So I'm just going to put those at the top because I like that cluster of circles up there. I also put a puffy camera from I think it is Evalicious and in between first and pony on my title because I wanted to bring a different color down there to my title so that teal kind of carries through to my title. So I'm trying to decide where I'm going to put this um, heart. It's an acrylic heart exclusive piece. And I'm going to pop it right here by the big teal E, just above the kitty cat. So I'm going to throw a little bit of adhesive on here. This is not the adhesive I would normally use, but I, for some reason I must have put my normal adhesive in a different place today. So I'm going to try to make this work. Hopefully it sticks. And lastly, I'm just going to throw on a few of these little gold dots from the Heidi Swap chipboard embellishment here. And there you have it. Here is my finished layout. I love the mix of product on this page. I love the vertical lines that I kind of took the cues from the basic gray, the lined paper there, and just put my pattern paper also in lines as well as my title in a vertical line. And I just love the playful and whimsical embellishments. So I hope you like it too. It really fits with the, the theme of my photo, my daughter being silly, having her first ponytail. And thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see more of my work, please visit my blog, www.meganandrew.com. Thanks so much.